got it. Sweet. Oh, I got a Facebook notification for that. I'm a nerd. Wow, I got an email for that. CNA Circle K is live now. Oh gosh. And then it's the live chat. Hello, first open out of the year. Try to get things figured out. You guys hear me at all? If you hear my beautiful voice, just say, Lawrence, we love you so, so much. Oh, yeah, do you hear me? Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Kim. Cool. Actually, it works. So I'm on my phone right now looking at the chat, and I don't see anything. So I'm glad that is working for you guys. Okay, uh, just one more time. If you guys can hear me, just put like emojis into the chat. Yeah, awesome. Cool.
Hello, Helen. Helen, where are you? Are you there? I feel so lonely. It's like talking to like oh my gosh. deep and and this space. Oh my gosh, Helen, hear your voice. Everyone hears you now. How embarrassing. Just kidding. Hello. <laughs> okay. Yay. People are still coming in. We'll start the web webinar around 8.05 to make sure everyone is going to be here. Uh, Denny will be posting the sign-in link to the webinar in the YouTube chat every like 10 minutes or so. So just make sure you sign yourself in. And this webinar is going to be really weird. Well, not weird, but I hope it's like weird fun because we're going to try to make it as interactive as possible. Because by using the Facebook chat feature, I mean the not the Facebook, not the Facebook at all. Uh, the YouTube chat feature. Uh, so yeah, have your chat out, and we're gonna have some fun during your webinar. Hey everyone, go to DPDC. Yeah, shameless plug. Helen's playing <laughs> DPDC. Yay. Jennifer Hong says she loves service. All right, turn in your, your board report, and I'll see how much you love service, Jennifer. Jennifer, you can't blame your boyfriend for your mistakes, okay? Just kidding. All right, I don't know, actually don't know how many people are in here, but I'm exp I, I'm guessing at least like 20 people. All right, everyone, so for those who are coming in, um, just know that we will start in about two minutes. Uh, we're going to try to make this workshop as interactive as possible. So make sure you have the YouTube chat feature up um, so we can have a little fun. And yeah, we're going to start very, very soon. It's me. It's Lawrence. And over there on the other side of the internet is Helen. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, Denny, Cow, our district check chair, our lovely dashing swing district check chair will be posting the sign-in sheet for the webinar in the YouTube chat also. And just make sure you sign yourself in or else you'll not get credit at all. I spent so much time working on that uh, sign-in sheet, so you better sign yourself in because you need to get your credit for your club. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. I see it. Sign in, sign in. Okay. We'll get started in about a minute. Nice to see the chat is really active because this chat better be really active once the webinar actually you see, once the webinar is actually in session because we have some questions we're gonna ask you guys to see. Okay. Start in a couple in about a minute. Are you excited, Helen? Are you at your party, yeah. Helen? Oh, okay. Send sun emojis if you're excited. Woo! That was so like real enthusiasm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Send emojis if you are excited. Just kidding, Helen. You're good. Yeah, you're great. Okay, uh, we'll start in about 10 seconds. Yay. Oh my gosh, Billy just posted the link into your division page. Thanks. Okay, just kidding. All right, so we're going to start. 
Hello, everybody. Welcome to the CNH District and you, uh, District Involvement Webinar. Uh, this is our first webinar of the year. Uh, our goal is to have at least a couple every month. But this is the first one. But yeah, thank you all for being here. I hope that you guys go to many webinars in the future because we're going to try to make them as fun, informative, and useful to you as possible. So introduction of the host. Helen, who are you? Hi, I'm Helen Nguyen. I'm the District Membership Development and Education Chair, and I'm from Orange Coast College. Hey, hello, everybody. My name is Lawrence Lahagen. I am your current district governor. Uh, I go to Sacramento State. And in the middle there, you see a picture of me and Helen when you were a freshman. That's, yeah, that was like, what, 2014 at DCON? And yeah. shameless plug, we have our DPDC, District Professional Development Overlay C, because you should go. Yeah, that's us. Uh, if you have any questions after the webinar, we need people to ask. Um, and yeah, excited. Okay, so real quick, we're going to introduce the district board real quick because this is how you can be involved with the district. And if you don't know your board, you can't really do that as well. So this is us uh, from left to right. Uh, that's me, Lawrence Hagen, your district governor from the Sacramento State. Uh, Caitlin Dutch in the middle from Orange Coast College, district secretary, and on the right side, that man with the curly hair. He's not really white, he's Hispanic, he's Mexican. Uh, his, his name is Yvonne Haas, he's also from Orange Coast College, transferring into Cal State Fullerton, and he's your district technology chair. So fun, let's get, someone just boo me, okay. Um, let's try our first uh, question session. So you guys know which one of these three received the club's monthly report form. So your secretary has an MRF every month. So which one of these three is the one that gets it? I'll give you guys 15 seconds. Okay, the answer is everybody. Uh, we all get to look at your... <laughs> oh, Yvonne says he's Latino. Sorry. So everyone gets the MRFs. So you all see your MRFs. So any feedback that you guys give for us, we'll see. And we all look at your MRFs to see how you can help your club. So this is your district executive. So that's us. Helen will introduce the lieutenant governors. Okay, so first off, we have Capital Lieutenant Governor David Ngo from UOP. Then we have Central Coast Lieutenant Governor Bill Chung from UC Santa Barbara. Um, Desert Oasis Lieutenant Governor Max Rico from UCR. Foothill Lieutenant Governor Diana Mora from Cal Poly Pomona. Golden Gate Lieutenant Governor Ryan Zhao from UC Berkeley. Magic Kingdom Lieutenant Governor Manuel Santiago from Orange Coast College. Metro Lieutenant Governor Joshua Nepomuceno from Pierce College. Paradise Lieutenant Governor Jeeves Aguilar from San Diego State University, and then Sunset Lieutenant Governor Mark Catales from SJSU. All right. And if that's what you guys know, our question is, and you're, what you guys know is, which of the nine lieutenant, which out of these nine lieutenant governors, who is the youngest and who is the oldest? Put your answers in the chat. We all look so old. Just kidding. Who is the fetus and who is the fossil? So yes, David is the oldest out of the lieutenant governors, but no one has guessed for youngest. Give us a couple more seconds to guess who the youngest is. Yay, people get it right. So the youngest of the lieutenant governors is Max Rico. He is a 
Yeah, he's born in 97, and his birthday is in September, I believe, which is actually the youngest out of all the Sheik board. Oh, he's a baby. Okay, uh, so your district chairs, the top left is Jennifer Hong. She's the district communications marketing chair. Uh, next is Kim Mai Hong from UC Riverside. She's the district convention chair. Lyndon Tran from UCLA is the Fostering Conference chair. Ana Chavez from UC Berkeley is the KFF chair. Juan Family Foundation chair. Esther Wang is an incoming graduate student at UC San Diego, is the member recognition chair. Helen Lewin is, an, is also my co-host for the today, is the membership development education chair from Rochester College. From UNLV, this, this Samantha Ruiz is our district service chair. Danny Cow, the master of technology, the technology chair from, the, from San Diego State. Carl Yabez is our ad hoc on the international convention chair from Cal State Fullerton, a recent graduate. And Alex Lina Nguyen, immediate past district governor, from UC Irvine is also our ad hoc president of the chair. And our fun question for you guys is, out of these district chairs, if these 10 chairs were in the Hunger Games, who would be the winner? I'll give you guys 30 seconds to answer this question. Okay, a lot of mixed responses. Uh, yeah, I have fun fact, I actually did a Hunger, a Hunger Games simulator, and Danny was actually the one to win. So uh, that was a little fun fact. Thank you guys for responding. Okay, uh, so what do you guys know about the CNH district? Okay, Helen, take it on. Okay. Oh, no. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, one second. Why is my computer laggy? Okay. All right. Okay. So, what do you know about CNH? Okay. So, one, how many members are in our district? Two. Yeah, how many? Oh. oh. Go ahead. Okay. Two, right, how right, let them answer uh, one first in the chat. Oh, so, okay. You guys have an answer for number one. Based on what you know, put in the chat. Yes, we have a lot. <laughs> okay. Everyone has about, everyone's guessing around 3,000, 3,000, 100. Okay, uh, we'll answer that in the next slide, but you have more questions? Um, okay. So, two, how many clubs does our district have? In the chat, Let's see how many guys, how many clubs I think you have. <laughs> some people are saying seventy, some people are saying forty, some people are saying sixty. Okay, sweet. And last Wait. question. How many service hours have we accumulated since March 1st? All right, so guess how many service hours our district as a whole has accumulated since March 1st? Not enough. I like that answer. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's go to the answers. Next slide. Okay, 
So for members, as today, we have uh, 3,137 dues paid members. And as for clubs, today we have 69 chartered and 63 active clubs. And as of June 1st, we have 23,626 service hours. Yay, service! Yay! Yeah, and then on this slide, you'll see actually what our goals are trying to be when it comes to membership and clubs. So this is our goals that we submitted to, that we are trying to submit to a national. So we're going to go for improvement because last year was actually, even though we had a great year, it was actually the first year in many years. We actually had a decline in, in total membership. So we're going to try to go for an increase. But with every goal, we try to demolish every goal. So we have a realistic goal of 3,200 3, members paid. Uh, we're trying to get uh, two more active clubs at least by the end of the year, which is by 65, and service hours, we're going to get over 100,000. Um, but this, these, should all be, uh, these goals, as the year goes on, should all be featured on the district website with the progress bar, so you guys can know about you know, um, the goals as the year goes on. Right now, I believe it's only service hours, but you know, as the dues year comes along, we'll start updating you guys with how many clubs are active and are paying, are paying dues. Sweet. Clubs and your members. All right, so you know the district would not be a there will be no district without the clubs that we serve, and the members who are part of those clubs. So clubs are about different sizes, and you know, no matter what no matter what size you are, we ha can have the ability to do so much. Trust me when I say size doesn't matter when it comes to the amount of impact it can do to a person and a community. So regardless of what club you are, big or small. Uh, just know that our members are the best. We are the largest district in all of Circle K International, and we have potential to just do so much. So type yas in the chat box if, one, you enjoy being a Circle K member. Let me look in my chat box real quick. There's a 10-second there's delay, so wait 10 seconds for you guys to type in your answers. Yay, awesome. There's people who enjoy being a Soul member. OK. Now, number two, say yas if you are proud to be a member of your home club. So the club you're part of, regardless of what club that is, if you're part of different clubs, are you proud? Oh, also number one. Yay, looking at all that proudness in the chat box. Yay. I see a couple of my presidents, or our presidents, who are saying yes, they better. Oh my gosh. Okay, and lastly, type in Yas in the chat box if you'd like to see different clubs events featured to the district. So this is in our district publications. If you want like to know more about more other clubs in our district, just type Yas. They're all one because these are all important, OK? OK, so next slide, social media presence. So if you really want, if uh, the easiest way to showcase what your club does you know, is you know, have an introduction into presence on social media. Uh, everybody posts on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And you know, simply by putting CN hashtag CNHCPI, you get to see um, uh, events and experiences from the members. Uh, for a lot of you, you guys have like social media weeks. So there'll be a lot of social media weeks throughout the year when it comes to the district level. But this would be the easiest way for people who don't know much about Stroll K to look into uh, organization and see what clubs do. Um, when it comes to people looking to join a Stroll K club in a college they want to go into, uh, they really want to see the different clubs showcased when it comes to uh, social media. So this is the easiest way for you guys to showcase your clubs to the district is you can feature your experiences on our district publications. So we have three, three features for right now is the Sunburst. This is the district newsletter. This is the one on the right, the Sunburst. That's the past couple past editions. Um, in the top right corner is our district YouTube channel that features Sunny. 
sorry, I burped. Okay, um, sorry, uh, Sunny TV. Uh, this is uh, the uh, district news segment. And on the bottom corner is the bi-weekly digest. So every 14 days, the social media chair will send in basically a is it, uh, email update of what's going on in the district. But everybody is allowed to submit either articles, highlights, shout outs, whatever you want to these uh, social media or uh, media outlets. So you guys are able to do that. So these are all able to access by members. And you can find that on the district website, cnhjk.org. Under media, you'll see Sunburst submission, graphics, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Sunny TV submission. And you'll see the different links to where our uh, features are. So this is if we really want to be able to showcase all the members and clubs, especially. So this is the easiest way to do so. Because when it comes to highlighting clubs, you know, we can't really. Uh, it, it's easier for us if clubs and or people from clubs, members especially, are taking the effort to send submissions and to Sunny TV and Sun Sunburst. So the one I want to highlight is Sunny TV. Uh, in the bottom, you can see images from a couple years ago when Sunny TV was first released. So you can see that you know, he really showcased members of experience, just be in the middle, fun fact. And we really want to be able to make Sunny TV more transparent. It's the CNH news video segment. Uh, it features the international updates, but we most importantly want to feature club submitted videos so we can see what clubs are doing. And this shit, because there's so many clubs, you want to be able to keep this track as many as possible. And so we tried to uh, make this video work uh, on the stream. So what Denny's going to do is Denny is going to post this uh, Sunny TV trailer that um, the Communications Marketing Committee made on the Facebook event page for the webinar in the YouTube chat. And also the. Yeah, Facebook event page and YouTube chat. So make sure you check it out. And oh, I missed a question here. So type in the chat box, yes or no, if you have ever visited the CNH YouTube channel. This is yes or no. And I'll give you guys three minutes, uh, two minutes, so you can look at that trailer. Because we tried making it work with the live stream, but it wouldn't work. The audio wouldn't work. So let's check it out real quick. Two minutes. So we're asking. That question should be a given because you're all on the YouTube channel right now. Uh -huh. Just kidding. Yeah. Give another minute for you guys to watch the trailer. Awesome. How was the trailer? Awesome. It was amazing, right? So shout out to Yenvo, who made the, I just want to give a quick shout out because she made the trailer really quick. Yay, thank you. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you. All right. Let go. Next up, we have immediate involvement with the district. Um, 
So we have our Circle K interest form. If you haven't checked it out already, you definitely should. If you know anyone who just graduated from high school, especially uh, past key clubbers or key winners, you should definitely send them this link so you can see um, where they're going for college and if they're interested in Circle K at um, whichever school that they'll be attending, we can get their contact information so they can get a head start and join Circle K already. So yay. The link is right there. Yeah, especially since uh, this is uh, membership is a district goal as a whole. So all the clubs should participate in this. So um, you know, high schoolers who are going into college, people who are transferring, are always are going to be going to schools around our entire district. So taking part into the circle interest form will help the district as a whole. And in turn, if clubs are doing this, they'll hopefully have people signing up on the form that will eventually benefit your club too. So help other clubs and potentially your club by filling out or by sending out this uh, social key interest form on different key club pages for, for seniors who are going to college and stuff like that too. So make sure you guys help us out. Thanks, shout out to the KFF committee who made this, who made this one. Okay, uh, next is the membership recognition survey. So the MR committee is trying to really uh, establish what membership recognition is uh, with the district and how what you want the, what they want to focus on. So they made up this survey too, so they can get a better idea of that. So of course, they cannot move on from the recognition what they want to focus on without knowing what members want. So check out that Byteley uh, link. It's, uh, we'll post all these links in the Facebook event page afterwards, but make sure you do this form. Help the MR committee out so they can make recognition and recognize your members. This, is an, this applies not to just the awards, but they want to recognize all the members in our district, every club, every division, because you, got, you guys deserve it. Uh, real quick, we're going to go over member involvement at district events. So real quick, uh, this is there's a bunch of different district events that our district offers. The first one is coming up, which registration is going next week, is the, is the District Professional Development Conference, where you can host workshops. Other than hosting workshops, of course, you all should go to these district events, but really want to see you guys get engaged so you can become more united with the district, because really the experience with these events is what you make out of it. So make sure you guys are getting to other people outside of your home club and outside of your divisions, because really these events are giving opportunities for all members to basically meet with our district and now, overall, uh, bring in that district unity as a whole. Uh, for crazy competition infant, for infants north and south, you can take part in being a judge if you don't want to um, participate in the sports activities. Judges are more important. Uh, Service Unity Week is a creative way to showcase your club's events. So this is all social media leading into an event that your club, is gonna, club or division is going to host at the end of the week. So this is basically you showcasing your club's events. Uh, fall training conference, which is November the 3rd to 5th. You can apply to be a team leader. You can also apply to be a worship host. Kiwana Family Month in November is going to be you showcasing your Kiwana's family, so showcasing your involvement with your Kiwanis builders, key club, key wins, action clubs in your area. We really want to see everything you guys are doing. You guys have the opportunity to do this, and we really want you to do this because we really want to see what the district's doing. We, other clubs want to see what the district is doing too. So the district is closer as a whole. And of course, the district convention is our celebration slash my invader banquet slash fun time to celebrate all the club's uh, successes. So you can apply to be a workshop host and just go. Just go to district convention. Okay, next up is year round MDE opportunities. Okay, awesome. So this year, we really want to give a lot of opportunities to the members. So first, we want to introduce member-hosted district webinars. So what this is, is it's an opportunity for members like you and myself to host a webinar for our district, CNH. Um, so you want to be part of the Circle K term. You get to educate members on like any type of topic. It could be a Circle K related topic, a professional development related topic, or just a fun one like how to cook ramen in like weird ways. Um, another uh, pro about this is you can earn your MRP requirement of hosting a webinar workshop, and you get to share your knowledge to our district, and you get to be more known in CNH. 
um, our applications are actually going to be released um, sometime in the beginning of July. So look forward to that and apply. It's a great opportunity. Next up, we also have our Circle K alumni series. So what that is, is it's a video series to spotlight our Circle K alumni. We want to see how they're doing um, because they made an impact in our district. Um, and now that beyond Circle K, we want to see how they've grown through their professional lives and how like Circle K ha um, experience has um, enriched their life in the future. How to get involved? We actually have an alumni series video outline that's going to be released at the end of July. And once that's out, you can definitely submit videos and contact your past alumni to spotlight them. See, um, and take away as the workshop's almost over, just know that you know, we need the members and clubs to be active with the district because there is no district without clubs we serve. We really need you as a member to push yourself and your club to go out to district events, uh, showcase yourself and recognize yourselves to district publications and take part in the efforts that we do because we really need to know how to serve our members because that's what's most important on the district level because we need to be able, we need to hear from you how to become better and we want to see, see you guys and your efforts become, you know, and you see your successful efforts throughout the year. So overall, we want to keep the image so okay, always positive and uplifting on all clubs for all members and we want to support each other and all our successes, all our successes. Uh, we want to thrive every day to improve the member experience because, and together you make up the largest so okay district in the world. So yeah. Show some love to the district, and remember you are part of something amazing to get because we're together on this amazing district, CNH, and we are going to make this year amazing. So please just know that we'll make, we'll make it a great year as long as you make it a great year for yourself. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all for coming. Yay. Uh, if you have any questions, put them into the chat box. So yeah, overall know that there's so much going on. You have so much planned. We're establishing all the committees so far. Submit articles to the Sunburst. Submit articles to Digest. Submit videos to Sunny TV. Uh, get people to apply for membership member hosted webinars. Am I anything else, Helen? Um, get involved with the alumni series. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, everybody. Come in. The link is in the chat. <laughs>